Hello everyone, welcome to my music theory lesson. This is lesson 2.3, meter 1. In today's lesson, I am going to show you how to identify time signatures and their meanings more accurately and faster, ideally under 3 seconds. A meter, also called a time signature, is a symbol referring to the regularly recurring patterns and accents such as bars and beats. In other words, it tells you how long each beat is and how many beats are in a bar. The name of a meter is simply the top number, a slash, and then the bottom number. When you say the name, you do not need to say the slash. For example, a 2 on the top and a 4 on the bottom is called 2-4, and a 9 on the top and an 8 on the bottom is called 9-8. There are two meanings of the word beat in music. Definition 1 is a basic unit of duration, which specifically refers to one quarter note. Definition 2, which is the one that we will use throughout the rest of this lesson, is the pulse of the music, or in other words, how often the conductor waves or how often your metronome clicks. The bottom number indicates how long a beat is. A 4 means the beat is a quarter note, an 8 means the beat is an eighth note, and a 2 means that the beat is a half note. For example, the beat in 4-4 four four is a quarter note, the beat in 5-8 is an eighth note, and the beat in 2-2 two two is a half note. In a time signature, the top number indicates the number of beats in a measure. In the picture on the left, there are four beats in one measure of 4-4. Four four. The middle picture shows that there are five beats in a measure of 5-8. And the picture on the right shows there are two beats in a measure of 2-2. Two two. Now, let's talk about some special cases. How do we count the beats in length when the top number is 6, 9, or 12? To know how many beats you have in a measure, you take the top number and divide by 3. To know the duration of a beat, we take the length indicated by the bottom number and multiply by 3. For example, in 6-4, the top number is 6, so there are 6 divided by 3, which equals 2 beats. The bottom number is a 4, which means a quarter note. So multiply a quarter note by 3 to get a dotted half note, which is the length of a beat. The rest of them are the same. In 9-8, there are 9 divided by 3, which equals 3 beats of length 8 note times 3, or dotted quarter note. In 12-8, there are 12 divided by 3, which equals 4 beats, of length 8th note times 3, or dotted quarter note. Notice that in each of these cases, the beat is always a dotted note. Common time is 4-4, four, four, and cut time is 2-2. Two, two. Practicing is the best way to be able to identify the beat length and beats per measure of a meter. At first, you may need to do very slow calculations to identify the meaning of a meter, but after practicing enough, you should be able to identify time signatures fluently. Let's try it on the next slide. Name the meter. 3-4, three, 3 quarter notes. Name the meter. 12-8, 4 dotted quarter notes. Conclusion Remember that the top number is the number of beats in a measure, and the bottom number is the length of a beat. If the top number is 6, 9, or 12, then the beats are 3 times what the bottom number indicates, and the number of beats is the top number divided by 3. For more practice, please download my Music Theory app. In the next lesson, I am going to talk more about types of meters, subdivision, and beat organization. See you next time!